Hey guys, welcome to the Wild Side, and this week we're highlighting an amazing species of snake called the Kenyan Sand Boa. Let's learn all about this burrowing little reptile. This right here is Sarave, and I'm at my base camp here at the Abilene Zoo in Abilene, Texas, with a fascinating little creature. Now, I say little. These snakes don't grow very large. In fact, the longest these animals have ever been recorded is up to 19 inches, but typically, they're staying much, much shorter than that. They're a very stout and round, constricting snake, but one of the most unique things about the Kenyan sand boa is the neck. Look at that. Look how it's so thick and it kind of lines up with the rest of their body. Well, that allows them to do one of the coolest adaptations I've ever seen in the snake world, burrow. They move their head side to side and they start moving their entire body underground to get into those burrows and make new holes for themselves. Now those holes help them stay away from that hot African sun, but also help them to ambush their prey, which would be small, tiny mammals like small mice. They would wait until that mouse comes into the burrow or right at the edge of the burrow, and they strike and constrict. But if they constrict, they can also constrict as they pull them back underground, almost like something out of a Star Wars movie, a creature coming from within the sands of Africa and pulling prey deep underneath. Now, to find that prey, they use that fork tongue to taste the air, taste the burrow, taste the ground they're moving in. But if you've ever been to the beach and gotten sand in your eye, it hurts. It doesn't feel good. But the Kenyan sand boa has some really cool adaptations that allow it to move underground without disturbing its respiratory or ability to see. Look at its eyes. Such small, tiny eyes help it to stay debris-free as they're moving underground. And their nostrils allow them to seal up while they're underground, especially if they're moving through very fine soil or sand areas. And then they'll pop their head out of the ground, kind of like a snorkel, to take a breath of air uh, if they're really not able to breathe in a developed burrow. Now, if they're in a developed burrow, these animals, you'll, you probably wouldn't find them. They've made their own tracks underground to find their food. Now, these animals are very popular pet items because of their docile nature. But again, here on the wild side, we always advise you stay away from getting any exotic animal as a member of your personal pet family. And of course, if you can, always adopt. Don't shop. Now, here on the wild side, we'd like to thank the Abilene Zoo for once again letting us highlight an animal from my backyard here at the base camp. Look for more episodes from here in Abilene and as we travel all around the globe. Until next time, everyone, find your wild side. Conservation definitely rules, and we'll see you the next time we take a trip on the wild side of one of your favorite species. Until then, I'm going to go dig some holes with this Kenyan sand boa. Bye, everybody.